approach the end of the first session. Let's recap what we've covered so far. We've talked about retirement, where it comes from, and how it has and is changing over time. We've explored the retirement journey and described it in a number of different phases. We shared some of our own journey and identified some strengths and experiences that we're taking into the future. And finally, we've recognised and acknowledged the importance of mindset um, when we take on new things and begin new challenges. Do you remember the research we mentioned at the start that showed that 56% of people in a UK study had not sought any advice or support in preparing for retirement? So if 56% of people didn't do that, why do we think it's so important to give time and space to reflect and plan for retirement? There are many reasons that we'll dig into in the next session about purpose and fulfillment. But for now, at its most basic, you simply have a lot of time on your hands to fill. You may well be very busy and you may not have counted it up. But if you retired straight from full time work, you have an extra 1800 hours that you're filling each week. That's a lot of extra time. It's like having a, a new freelance career in front of you. Why freelance? Well, you don't have any of the constraints of an employer, um, any of the expectations of an employer, but you have a, a need to fill that time and create meaning in it yourself. It's exciting, but we also think it needs some planning. Um, the quotation on the screen in front of you is from Charles Duhigg, a New York Times report, reporter and author. We've altered it slightly, and he originally used it to describe um, freelancers in today's economy. We wanted to use it because we think it actually describes life in retirement really well too. Not only freelancers, but people in retirement really need to be good at planning their time, understanding their goals, their motivations, prioritising tasks each and every day. So that's where we're headed in the next session. We'll take the reflections and discussions from today We'll take the toolkit you've started developing and we'll start to expand it and look to the future. We want to build a vision of a future that excites and motivates you. And that helps you to have your own personal ikigai, your reason to get up in the morning. Something that drives you and helps shape your freelance future. Your coordinator will now tell you when and where you'll be meeting again, but for now, Goodbye and thank you and we look forward to meeting again in the next session.